I remember the beginning of 2019 so vividly. I was at this weird position in my life where I was beginning to resent school completely and I was spending so much time trying to sustain decent grades that I sort of fell into this depressive state where I felt just like extremely stuck. I mean, I, I hate that feeling of being stuck. Along with this, I was still dealing with the pain of losing someone very close to me and it almost felt like that pain would never go away. I remember I packed my bags and I was planning on disappearing for a while. Maybe driving out west and starting a new life. Maybe I'd just become like a farmer or some shit, I don't really know. Probably a bit of an overreaction, but one of my biggest flaws is that when shit gets too hard, I tend to run away from those problems instead of facing my problems head on. I remember I had all my bags packed and ready to go when I received this call from my mom. I just couldn't help but break down. She then proceeded to tell me something along the lines of, Aiden, I know it's hard right now, but I feel like 2019 is going to be your year. Boy, am I really glad I decided to stay. <laughs> With all that being said, I can't really complain about 2019. My personal goal for 2019 was to make this the craziest year of my life. And with the help of all my friends and a couple strangers, that goal has easily become a reality. Without all of you guys, I literally have no idea what I'd be doing right now. Other than that, I've also accomplished some goals that I never thought I would accomplish. Like hitting 100,000 subscribers was really weird, but then hitting 200,000 the next week was even weirder. Okay, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I'm beyond grateful to all the new people and the old people tuning into my life. I hope that my dumb videos can help impact you in some kind of positive way. Another big goal I accomplished was quitting my job and deciding to do YouTube full time, which at the time was a pretty stupid idea because for months I couldn't even afford to buy an actual bed. But it was all worth it because I was doing something that I love doing and I'm so happy that I took that risk. I just really want to say thank you to everyone that has supported me in any way this year because this year the dreams I've had ever since I was like 12 years old finally sort of came true and I, I couldn't be more grateful for that. My main goal for 2020 is pretty simple. Make this year even crazier than the last.
It's looking pretty good so far. Fucking <laughs> That tree's looking mighty fine though, I must say, huh? <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> cheers to 2019 and mm. cheers to, to the future. To the future, yeah. Well, fuck. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? <laughs> nice.